Hey guys, this is Mac Hezzle One with our sixth iPhone programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use sliders and progress indicators. So, first of all, we're going to go into Xcode, your file new project, and let's create a view based application. I'll apply it sliders and progress. And uh, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so I'm going insta to, instead of uh, setting up our interface first, I'm going to write all the code this time, then set up the interface once. So I'm going to say, in our .h, slider progress view, controller .h, um, we're going to say IB outlet UI slider, slider 1. And we're going to say IB outlet UI progress view, progress 1. Alright, and now we're going to make an IB action called slider slid. Alright, we'll just get that set up. And let's hook up this code in here. And we're going to say progress1, set progress. We're going to send it to the slider1. And here we'll say value. Alright. And I'm not sure if it's value there. I'll have to check that. Alright, now we'll go into the interface builder file and we'll drag on a slider and the progress view. Notice the difference between a progress view and a progress indicator. This is a progress indicator, it's a spinny thing. Um, progress view is this loading bar. So we're going to have one of these. I'm going to make it slightly wider, I think, and you'll see why in a minute. And I'll hook these up. This will be slider one and uh, this will be progress one and if, at this point if you don't know how to hook these up you should watch our uh, previous tutorials and now I'll center these into the center of the screen alright so now oh and I forgot to hook up our action sorry guys let's go back here and by the way you're gonna make sure continuous is checked we're gonna click from here hook up our action and this doesn't, it won't do much, but we'll see when it comes up that we can go ahead and slide. Now, this is great because, you know, it looks pretty fluid. It's pretty awesome. Um, I think I did this in a Mac programming tutorial as well. Anyway, so that's basically the basics. That demonstrates, it's like killing two birds with one stone. It demonstrates this, this slider and it demonstrates this progress indicator. So if we look in the code once more, you're seeing progress, set progress. Here you're going to want to give it a float, which is a floating point number. That's like an int, except it's float instead. And to do that, we get the value of slider 1, which returns a float. And it makes sense. We can make this 0 0.2 or 1, whatever. And it'll just set the progress to 0 0.1 whenever we slide this. We can say slider 1 set and this is sort of useless because yeah 0 0.4 so this will be kind of weird as you'll see because um, it's gonna not slide so we're going to be able to slide this slider but it's not gonna change just the thing under it's gonna change it. and it's quite weird it is um, so yeah so that's like a demonstration of how to do stuff so now you might be wondering, well, how do I make a progress progress bar, you know, measure the the loading progress of a web page or whatever? Well, that's different. All you do is you set the progress of it to however per however much percent the process is complete and you have to do that, figure that out yourself. Um, so maybe I'll go into that later when I start doing network stuff and stuff with servers. Um, so now we're going to make it I'll make a little sort of, I don't know if I'd call it a game, but I'll say value. And I'll make another uh, increase value. And I'll just make this say, you know, I don't even need this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a button that moves up both of these values. So let's just make a button that says increase. Let's just drag it here. 
And now in the code for this, we're going to be increasing the value of progress 1. So we're going to say progress 1, set progress, progress 1, progress, plus 1. And I know there are a lot of 1s and progresses in that. Um, that's pretty funny. And we're going to say slider 1, set value, slider 1, value, plus 1. And, yeah. So now, when we click this button, both the slider and the progress bar are going to increase. So let's drag them to the beginning. And they add 1. And they go to the top, no matter what. Because they're being added to 1. So now let's make it add 0 0.1. Um, if we do this now, it'll take us 10 button presses to get there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Got that? And we can make the same, the same method where we'd subtract 1 to make them move back 1. Um, so this is just a simple demo to demonstrate how progress bars and sliders work. Um, I know I went a little fast in this video, so if you're having trouble understanding any of this, leave your comments below and I'll explain it better. But in my first video, I described how my strategy was not to explain things so much and you'll sort of figure them out as you go along. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, also, I'm sitting away from my microphone, so if it was kind of hard to hear in this video, I apologize for that. Um, and anyway, thanks for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.